The Ford government has banned the Kafia from Queens Park because they say it's a political statement. They're also upset with the Peel Board because the Peel Board is trying to introduce a Nakba Remembrance Day. But the thing is, if the Kafia is a political statement and should not be allowed in the House of Commons, then that means that all political statements should not be allowed in the House of Commons. That means no more poppies for Remembrance Day, no more Ukrainian flags, nothing else for Jewish heritage. Because fair is fair, correct? Unless you are trying to state that one type of political action and voice is more or less important than another. Because it seems as though the Ford government is publicly stating here that Palestinian lives, Palestinian heritage, Muslim lives, Muslim heritage is less important than everything else in Ontario. Consider Nakba Remembrance Day in the Peel Board. A board that has a very large population of Muslim students, a board that has a very large population of Palestinians. If remembrance for the Holocaust is non-political, then remembrance for the Nakba should also be. And you don't have to be supporting Palestine or supporting Israel to have this stance. The idea is simple. Either all political statements are wrong, or all political statements are okay. Okay, I mean, let's not be absolute there. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. There's obviously some political statements that are not okay. But in regards to supporting a cultural group that is being oppressed, either they are all okay, or they're all wrong. And Ford's trying to have it both ways. He's trying to publicly state that he is not against it, but he is allowing for his MPPs to continue the ban. And this is what it means to be a real leader. This is what it means to stand up and do the right thing. And this is why I keep saying that Doug Ford can't govern because he is not a leader. He is not a real leader. He is just somebody who wants to be liked by as many people as possible and specifically liked by as many rich and powerful people as possible. He doesn't care about doing the right thing. He doesn't care about standing up for every Ontario citizen because if he did, he would see that it's him and his political party that are politicizing the kafia.